Hello there, Dinky Doo. Now, this is totally random. It's just a quick pop up by me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. I thought I'd just pop up and say hi, just to see how you all are. Quick, uh, quick look around, quick pop up, of course, and um, see what's happening, who's about, get a bit of a chit chat with you, and uh, let you know about uh, a new feature that we've just experienced in one of the watch parties. Superb. So we had a watch party from a previous broadcast, and everybody came and joined us. It was absolutely fantastic. So we'll maybe be taking uh, one or two calls. We might go live with you at some point. Let me know if you'd like to go live. And we can see what's what. And so many of you are joining me right now, which is tremendous. And it's great to have you with us, of course. So tell your friends, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, that Scotty McClue is, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. The World Stock Broadcaster, the first lord of the Internet. If you're an alien life form from another planet and you've never heard of me, then get telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. There's Martin Morrigan. Good evening, Scotty. Scotty says, hello, Martin. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Good evening, Scotty, says Raymond Benson. It's really just a quick pop up to say thank you very much for all your support for watching all the watch parties. Can I go for a garlic naan kebab first? Of course you can. Absolutely. The legend Scotty McClure's back. Uh, is this last night, says Gordon Sterling? No, this is tonight, Gordon. So this is tonight just for you, dinky do. And of course, I always like to get you a wee bit of help with which night it is. Happening Scotty Boy says Alan Baird, Rab Hill. I don't know what's live or what's not. Lol, he says. The wonderful Gordon Roddick is watching Dinky Doo, Gordon. I hope you're well and a happy Saturday night to everybody. Jim Fanko's watching fantastic down in Greenock there at the Green Oak Tree. I'm watching you sitting here in Benidorm's Silvano Ventisi. Silvano, lovely to have you with us and dinky do Paul Crookshanks. Good evening, Scotty. How are you, my friend? And dinky do we're excellent. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. Hello, Scotty, says Christopher Love. Hello. Hi, says Jim Fanko. Hi, Jim. Great to have you with us. Broadcast all over the world, says Martin Morrigan. We do, Martin. Yes, we broadcast all over the world. Gordon Roddick. Hi, Scotty. Hope you're keeping well. Absolutely, Gordon. I was just thinking about uh, when you used to visit the little cinema to uh, check out all the films when you were in television. Fantastic. Currently on holiday says Carl Carlos Stanley in Italy right now. So waiting from Italy. Ah, si, si, senor, senor Carl, Carlo Stanley in Italy. It's lovely to have you with us. Scusi about my accent. Scusi, scusi. And um, watching, says Carl Carlos Stanley. Fantastic stuff. We'll tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Ernie Ross has just joined us. Hello, Ernie. I'm just going to get this other device fired up and then we can get a bit of shit sharing on the go and that will be fantastic getting the little arrow moving about scotty what time is it in case uh at your carry on you're at your carry on the time i've got right now is just after half past 10 rab so i think it's about uh 10.33, in case you're at your carry-on. Uh, hi, Scotty, hoping to hear you tomorrow night, says the lovely Lily Patterson. Absolutely, Lily. Crystal Williams says hi. Hi, Crystal. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. George Raffin's watching. About time too, George. Always good to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just wondering how many years is it since we did a pop-up on a Saturday night the very first one. Should England have a referendum on English independence? Well, it wouldn't do any harm, Martin, just to see how the land lies and uh, let the people decide properly. But none of this, um, you know, leave stay nonsense. We don't want that again. That made such a mess. I think we should cancel the last referendum, just cancel it, annul it. It just caused a lot of problems over nothing. There was no need to act on it at all. Can you say good night to Agnes, please? She's making some tripe with lamb's liver. Yes, absolutely. Well, that'll be a strange piece of tripe, that Gordon. But there we go. And um, I would have thought the tripe was actually made in another way. Is tripe not stomach? 
Right, excellent. Enough of all that, I say. Now, I'm just going to see what's happening here. I'm going to get uh, the old uh, computer fired up and let us know what's happening. I had a duffel coat with that big button. You've got the top of my toggle. Now, well, I might just fasten it, Rab. So there you are. I'll fasten my toggle for you. And then you can see the full effect. Isn't that great? Isn't that just bra? Lovely big warm jumper because getting a wee, wee bit chilly now. Uh, for this time of year on a Saturday. Um, and a duffel coat, well, it's chilly every night. I don't know why I said a Saturday, you know, because as if a Saturday is suddenly going to be warmer than the rest of the week or colder than the rest of the week. You never know. DJ Maximus, dinky you do for me, Scotty McClure. You look cold, Scotty. I am quite cool, actually, Jim. I'm in the big library at McClure Towers, you know, and oh, it's a wee bit, a wee bit chill. Uh, we don't want to have too much heat for the books, you see. Um, fasten it. Caddy spells of Rab. No, tut tut. SP Rab. I'm going to put SP in front of you for spelling. So we'll see what's what. Fantastic. Um, how are you doing, Scotty? Says Riley Callum. Fine, thanks, Riley Callum. Lovely to have you with us, Riley Callum. You'll see him there. And Dinky, do a thumbs up from Riley Callum, lovely to have you with us. I'm doing very well, uh, and I hope you are too. You seem like a fine fellow. Right, I'm just going to get a bit of all this up here. Hello from Scarborough, from Ethan, Lewis, Stephen, and Lewis. From Ethan, Lewis, Stephen, and Lewis. Watching in Scarborough right now. Dinky do. Uh, an island in Loch Lomond is full of wallabies. This is Martin Monaghan. Yes. It's uh, it's quite interesting when you tell somebody that in a pub and they go, Wallaby! And you say, oh, thanks very much, I'll have a large one. Uh, wallaby. So there we go. Better King Patton, put Glasgow, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Now, I'm going to... Ah, there we are there. I'm going to do a bit of sharing, just to let everybody know that we're on here and all is well. So I'm going to do that. Captain, you need a big bowl of the scotch broth to keep you warm, says uh, the wonderful that we are. Everybody wants to be in the broadcast. I might bring you all on. Uh, Nikki Harvey winning, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Uh, my mate's got a one pound Scottish note, says Michael Putley. Excellent, Michael. We like that. I'll send you a wee love heart for your one pound Scottish note. We like it. Did you find out um, about a sterile eel for Nessie, says the wonderful Karim Sakaria. Ah, Karim. No no, I haven't quite got that yet. I'm just going to share this, uh, if I may, and let everybody know that we're on. Can you all do the same? And we'll see if we get the numbers up a little bit. Although I'm very pleased. There's always a few thousand watch, um, which is fantastic. By the end of the week, we have a few thousand. I'll just put join us live. Join us live. Now, excellent. There we are. Join us live now, and I'll send that out. Uh, never mind Scotch broth. Try buying a gas card. That might help, says Rab Hill. Well, I've got no gas in the house, so I don't know a gas card would help, Rab. Um, the tribe's been boiling for five hours. The hoose is stinking, but it's the most highly nutritional meal. Well, I always feel, Gordon, that you benefit from a highly traditional meal. And Agnes obviously knows about a lot of tripe. So there you are. And it's good to know that uh, you've got tripe in the house. So they are wonderful. So a bit of tripe there from Gordon. Um, it's in Inchconican Island. That's got the wallabies. And look, Lomond, says Peter Conley. Excellent, Peter. A power card then, says Rab. Yes, because I'm a power ranger, Rab. Wonderful. Good evening, Scotty, says William Barr. Good evening, William. Dinky do and a very warm welcome. Fantastic. If I got really cold, of course, I could probably never try tripes as Jim. Neither have I, Jim. I don't 
find it looks terribly appetising. If I get really cold, I can stick on Scotty McClue's bonnet. So there we are. And I could wear that in the house, and that would be dinky-doo. Excellent stuff. Right, let's get sharing here. My goodness me. Can everybody get sharing? And uh, I'll not be up terribly long tonight, guys. It's just to say hi to all of you. And um, I'm sharing all the time here. Share in a group. Lovely. Right. We've got that off to the group. And uh, we'll choose a group. Here we go. Wonderful. I'll put it in the Scotty McClure group just now. That's always good. So SC gives me a wee start, you see. Uh, the awful butcher is Agnes's ex-lover. Awful, he says, O-F-F-A-L. What's your favourite food, says Carl Carlos Stanley. I quite like a wee fish and chip on a Friday, and I like a wee mince and tatty. There's always that. Wonderful. Right, I'll just share that. And um, I'll, put in, I'll put that we're live now, shall I? Let everybody know. Uh, join us live now. Join us live now. Wonderful. Always uh, quite nice to have a wee chit-chat with all your pals. Join us live now. What have you spilled down the front of your jumper, Scotty? So it's Stuart Bailey. Soup. I think it might be uh, the broth from today. Oh, hi, says Castilian. Oh, hi, Kirsty. Uh, due to climate change, Scotty's given up his coal fire. He's freezing. So George Ruff and I, the coal fire was good. You, you, you usually had it on by this time of year. What's the earliest you've had a coal fire on in the house? And I don't mean time-wise, I mean like what time of the, the year. Uh, so there you go. Douglas William Bryce, a very warm welcome. Fish and chips on Friday is the best, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. I think so, Carl Carlos Donnelly. We like that. Hello, pal. Hope you've had a good day, says the lovely Thomas Hamilton. We have Thomas. Thanks for coming and joining us. And dinky do. Always good to have you with us. As I say, I'll not be up too long tonight. I just thought I'd pop up and say hi. Uh, I'm going to share to another group here. Do you see my lovely mug, folks? Look at that. It's got the fox on it. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? That's very, very, very Danoon pottery, Argyle. Uh, they are fantastic. Hello, pal. Hope you've had a good day. Fantastic. Mm. That's just lush. That tea is just absolutely lovely. Stinky do. Did you see the Northern Lights last night, says Jim Franco? I didn't, Jim. So there you go. The Aurora Borealis. Where could you see them from? Uh, Andrew Clark, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. What tea are you drinking, says Kisterian? Just a wee touch of the Errol Grey tonight, Kisterian. Sometimes we have the lap song Souchon. Sometimes we have uh, the um, Assam. Very nice. All that sort of stuff. Lovely cup. It is a lovely cup, isn't it? With the little foxes on it. And they're beautiful. And it's very much like the foxes that come to McClue Towers. Very nice, says Kisterian. Mmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right now, I need to do another wee share, and I'll share in a group here. Um, I'll share in one of my Facebook groups, because I know they all like that. So there we go, Facebook. Lovely. Here we are. And um, I'll just put it into that one, I think. That's the one. Yes, that's lovely. Um, do you have a mansion? says Kisterian, McClue Towers. Oh, well, it's a, it's a fair old size, you know. It's not quite as big as another one that I used to visit with 360 rooms in it down in Yorkshire. My goodness me. Don't be too late now. We need to get up for church in the morning, says Lily Patterson. Good, Lily. I don't know if you heard uh, Big Hamish from the drum gave us letters with a gladsome mind the other night. Yorkshire tea, says Susan Forrest. Oh, you can't beat a, a Yorkshire tea. I think it actually is Yorkshire with the Earl Grey at another point. Can you remember kneeling? Uh, the coal fire always draws. And you got the old newspaper. Yes, Rab, to get the coal fire. Can I come to your house, Scotty, says Kirsty, and keep keep warm or freezing cold? Foxes are lovely. I hate how they still do. Fox hunting, says Kareem. I don't think they do, Kareem. It's highly illegal. Hey, from West Yorkshire, says Charlene Haining Lockwood. 
Charlene Henning Lockwood, lovely to know that a Yorkshire lass is watching. Alex Glass has joined us. Thank you, do. Um, I've just said join us live now. Um, there we go. Join. Join us live now. Share. <laughs> Wonderful. And I'll send that off to a group. And uh, let me know. Um, wow, Gordon Sterling. If Princess Beatrice is going to marry a billionaire, will we have to pay for the wedding? We never have to pay for any of these weddings. They pay for themselves several times over Gordon. So steady on there. Yes, heard Hamish and heard you singing, sounding good. Let us with a gladsome mind. Wonderful. Uh, the Wallabies were introduced to the island in the 1940s by Lady Fiona Cahoon. Ah, Peter Connolly. So she'd be um, one of the Cahoons of Luss. Was she uh, Survivor Cahoon's wife, Lady Cahoon? Because I know that Helen's bra was called after Lady Helen Cahoon of Luss. And they used to stay in Ross Dew House, which is now part of the Loch Lomond Golf Club. And I used to go to Ross Dew House, and one day I drove in to see how the old house was, and a gentleman stopped me and said, I'm sorry, you can't come in here. Are you a member of the golf club? I said, no. He said, well, I'm sorry, you can't come in. And I thought, for goodness sake, I was brought up going to Ross Dew House. Will you be my granddad, please? Mine are dead, says Kirsty. I'm sorry to hear that, Kirsty, because um, I was so lucky. I had um, crackers for grandparents, so there we are. But we send them love anyway, Kirsty, and I hope you got to know them. Uh, so there you are. You're going to break that keyboard, says Rob. <laughs> you sound, uh, you should, you sound try green tea. I think you mean should. Thomas Hamilton says you should try green tea. Yes, I believe it's a good antioxidant. Hi, Scotty. What are your thoughts about the possibility of a tunnel from Sky to Harris? Would it be bad for the islands? We need to speak to the Skinochs and the Herochs and say to them, Kamarahau, Hach Emache, Shaw, Tunnel, and uh, see what they say. So they are the Skinochs and the Herochs. So if there are any um, Skinochs watching from uh, Skibush, uh, from uh, from uh, where else could you be watching? <laughs> Portree and any Herochs watching, then uh, do come on and tell us what you think, the Yosochs and the Herochs. Thank you, Grandad Scotty, says Kirsty. Thank you, Kirsty. Bless you. Uh, a wee peat fire would be nice for you, Scotty. Heat your old bones up. Now, the peat fire, of course, never went out. And I used to actually burn quite a lot of peat. It left a very fine ash on top of all the furniture because I had a friend who was a peat merchant. And um, tremendous stuff, you know, very highly compressed nowadays. All the original tufts, you know, the original peats cut out and um, piled high and stored and then burned. So there we are. Um, rabs on about some nonsense. I'm not going to do an advert for your rabs. So there you are. So dinky too. Fantastic stuff. Um, so you had, uh, you had all that going on in the peat fire. It was important that it never went out. So there you go. Tell me what you think about that. Would you like a tunnel between, um, Sky and Harris? How does Sky get on with Harris? And how does Harris get on with Sky. So there you are. Like the Shetland Islands, how does Unst get on with Yell? And how does Yell get on with Unst? Fantastic. Uh, Scotty McClure, have you tried whiskey with milk? I haven't, Kareem Zakaria, because I no longer take the alcohol. So there you are. We gave that up, you see. Uh, Kenneth Bryan, Murray Brown is watching. Dinky do. Gustavian says, I went to Shetland once. Excellent stuff. Who is Harry's? Says Rab Hill. Now we're talking about Harris, the island of Harris Rab, up in the uh, Hebrides. So fantastic stuff. The Outer Hebrides. Lewis and Harris. Wonderful. We're talking about Sky. So uh, a bit of chat there. So if anybody knows 
um, what they're doing with that lot. Could we answer this person's question about an island? Sorry to ask, Scotty McClure. No, Kareem, don't be sorry about a thing. I used to enjoy a wee dram of whiskey. But um, when I was uh, having alcohol, it really depended on who you were drinking with. So there you are. I mean, I, I enjoyed a light refreshment. If the company was good, spot on, Scotty. I was born in Helen's Blah Mile from John Logie Beard and went to Dumbarton Academy, the same school as Sir Jackie Stewart. So I know the area and the history very well. And Peter Connolly, do you know a great big house that used to be Keel School? My uncle went there. And um, it was originally... Um, Helen's Lee, that big house, great big Victorian house. Uh, I would have thought an early Victorian house looks as if it's around the 1850s. And um, it was Helen's Lee, and that was called after Helen Denny. That house was the Denny brothers, the shipbuilders in Dumbarton. And then it became Keel School, I think in the 1920s. Um, Keel School was originally at South End. Uh, down at Campbelltown. Why are you not on the radio, says Neil I. Walker? Because I do a Sunday night now, Neil. 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night on Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM or www.nationradio.scot. We like that. Excellent stuff. Now, more sharing. Let everybody know what's happening. And I'll just share it now. Excellent stuff. Let's see if we can get the numbers up. And if you can all share as well, that would be tremendous. So you can join me in the radio tomorrow night, Neil. And uh, we can have a bit of a pop-up and a bit of a chat then. So that big mansion that you see looking across to Dumbarton. Hi, Scotty. Free park kid. So Sal Williams. Hello, Sal. Thank you, do. And a very warm welcome for Park Heed. Uh, James Finn's watching. Thank you, do, James. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up just to see who's about and have a bit of a blether, a wee bit of a gas with you. Now, how long have I been on? Maybe it's time I pushed off. Rossley Hotel in Helensborough. Yes, I indeed. And a lot of houses by Leaper round there. Very swish houses. Used to be a lot of... Um, yes, you can phone in, Neil, 10 o'clock. 01418110475. 10 o'clock onwards. But it's very, 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 very busy. We are stowed out the door and step it through. Uh, Thomas Hamilton from Mary Hill. Dinky to Tom. Wonderful to have you with us. And a very warm welcome, of course. Always excellent. But uh, yes, you can phone in, Neil. And uh, do that and we'll get a chit chat with you. That would be superb. Scotty McClure's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, from 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening, 96.3 on the FM, or www.nationradio.scot, and it's highly, highly, highly popular. Bring yourself up, man. Did you spill your tea down the front of yourself or what? You clean yourself up, Si, for goodness sake. This is my working place. Very busy. Seen a lot of action. This jumper. So there. So you clean yourself up, man. Excellent stuff. Um, see the back roads going there, Scotty. Amazing. Oh, absolutely fantastic, Rad. Beautiful stuff. And gorgeous, gorgeous property. And, um, you know, a lot of famous people have stayed in Helensborough. Scotty, where did you learn your Gaelic, says Ian Stewart. Well, I just kind of, you know, my my grandparents were Gaelic speakers, and uh, that's uh, that's kind of where I got a feel for it. So there you are, Maha. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And Kamraha, ooh, Hakamachi. Uh, Ko Ashin, Shaw, Scotty McClue, Scotty McClough. Uh, so the, uh, is it all right, Ian? Can you can you understand it? I say. So there you are, and all the Bodochs and the Kaliachs who are watching, and I'll be saying Eichivalich to them at the end of the night, of course. Eichivalich. 
Uh, so there you are. Uh, Mark Chippers just watched us. Dinky do. Welcome, 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 Mark. Lovely to have you with us. Andy Hoots joined us. Uh, see, <laughs> no, Mark, I'm not giving that out. I'll tell you that. So there you are. But thank you. Very nice. Very, very good. Um, I speak Gaelic only on a Saturday night, right enough, says Rab. Oh, yes, indeed. Well, Fauci, Fauci, Keedy, Millie, Fauci, then Scotty McClue's nightline. And the radio. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely brilliant, says Ian. Thanks, Ian. You're very, very kind and Fauci to you, I say. Sure. Scotch McClough. Excellent. And uh, a little bit of French for you, of course. Uh, Je m'appelle Scotty McClough. Yes, we. Oui. Absolutely. Je m'appelle Scotty McClough. Je ne parle pas français très vite. Je ne parle pas long de mon peut-être. Je comprends, oui. Uh, a little bit of German, would this be any good? If I said, uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch? Uh, nein, ich Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. Um, I'm down in co-winning pal, says Tom Hamilton. Excellent, Tom. Uh, no accordion tonight, Scotty, says Mark. Um, I do have the accordion uh, somewhere. Were you wanting a wee tune? I thought Sai was a bit cheeky when I've got my, my working jumper on, you know, my mechanics jumper. Hello, good sir, says Wally G. Wally G, it's always fabulous to have you. You're such a great guy. And I love your use of technology. I hope that doesn't sound patronizing. There's the marvelous Alistair King. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. Good evening, Alistair. I still haven't got any further with that big engine. It's spinning beautifully, but a wee bit of a smell of petrol once she's spun. So I'm hoping she's not flooded. Would that dry out? Your Portuguese is brilliant, Scotty, says Martin Monaghan. Oh, of course, yes. And my Spanish, of course. Hola! <laughs> what about my Greek? You would have um, Calamera, Calamera in the morning and in the afternoon... Uh, Calaspera, Calaspera, and uh, in the evening, I suppose we would say uh, Calanachta, Calanachta. Um, give us a tune, Scotty, highlight the evening. Get the phone on, says Rab. I think we can get in touch with this without the um, phones. I think people can actually come on. Somebody did, I know they can, in fact, but I need you to sort of say that you want to come on. Uh, here we are. <laughs> Fuel, I'm wondering about that, Alistair. Yes, the pump starts. When you turn her on, the pump goes, and she pumps the fuel up. So the fuel's there, and then um, she's spinning. But, ooh, we smell a fuel. I think, oh, no, I'll leave it there. I don't want to flood her. Um, so that's the thing. So it could, it's an injection system. So it'll be a, is it a K or a J-Jet-tronic? Um, right, get the phone on, says Rab. So there we go. Is it fixable, Alistair? on a Saturday night on the accordion. Talented man, Scotty, how did you learn? 
I've just, I'm a wee bit of an autodidact, as any accordionist listening would know. So there you are. But we can get a wee tune out of the box. That's an interesting one, because that's button key. So you get a different sound in and out. Brilliant, says Jim Franco. Jim Franco, I thank you. Bless you. Well done, Scotty. I always like when you play, says Karim Sakaria. Well, music's wonderful, of course. It's worldwide, as you know, and um, everybody plays in the same language. Um, everybody smiles in the same language. Could be a faulty pump, a damaged fuel line, a fuel pressure switch on the injector rail. Ah, right. Now, the thing is that um, I've just put new fuel lines in because that was what was wrong. She had a corroded fuel line. And I got that out, and apparently we're getting fuel up to the end. And apparently we've got a spark. Uh, play working man, I am Scotty. Yes, spot on again, Scotty. Uh, so there we are. Keel School closed down in 2000 and lay empty before it was set in fire. Oh my goodness, a couple of years later. It's now luxury flats, but was subject to things that happened during its time uh, as a school. Um, probably better not mentioned. Yes, absolutely not. But what a fine big house. And that was the Denny's house, am I right? Uh, the shipbuilders. Fantastic. Dumbarton there. And um, Brian Alexander, Henry Anderson, lovely to have you all with us. Dinky doo from me, Scotty McClue. A bit of a pop up. Tremendous. Now, I'm just thinking it's probably time I wasn't here. It's just coming up to 11 o'clock. So uh, I shall push off. If you can stand the watch parties, that's great. And send this round as much as you possibly can, folks. And we'll get the numbers up. And then we can all keep in touch. Join me on the radio tomorrow, of course, 10 o'clock. That's a year since we went live on Nation Radio. One year. I'll bring that back. Definitely to do with you for that. I'm just getting rid of some of these silly ads that pop up. So there we are. Yes, fuel pressure. Thank you for that, Alistair. I'll have a look at that. It must be doable. So there we are. I wondered if I had to get all the spark plugs out, because as you know, you've got to take the whole rail off. You've got to dismantle that. Well, you can fiddle about, but quite difficult if they won't come out, as we spoke about before. See you, says Neil Walker. See you, Neil. Tremendous stuff. And um, injection can't flood. Oh, excellent, Alistair. So can't flood the cylinders or can't flood the rail. So there we are. Um, so it's unlikely that. So if I'm smelling the fuel, then it's a pressure switch. We need to get the fuel up to pressure. Hey, take care, Scotty. Class act, says Reb Hill. And I was just wondering, I've got three wires on top of the coil, Alistair. They are. This is wonderful, isn't it? Mechanics. And uh, uh, Roberto. I give ah yourself, I say. Lovely to have you with us. You're doing a great job, Scotty. I love the pop-ups, says Peter Conley. Well, they're nice and natural, Peter, and it means we can all have a good blether, um, you know, on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday night, that sort of stuff. Take care, Scotty. Class act, says the lovely Rob. Thanks, Rob. Um, I notice you've got the bonnet on the night, Scotty. A wee bit chilly at McClure Towers tonight, so I thought we'd put the bonnet out. Things are a wee bit tight. If you want to pop something in Scotty's PayPal or GoFundMe, you can go on the Scotty McClure website, www.scotty-mcclure.com, and you can put a pound in there. That'll help to get the bill for the winter. Ooh, <laughs> excellent stuff. And uh, take the chill off us. Wonderful. Is the nose going blue? <laughs> Am I a blue nose? Oh, my goodness me. Um, so there we are. So uh, you can't, uh, it's unlikely that you'll flood the cylinders with an injection set up, would you say, Alistair? And as I say, there's three wires on the coil, and it looks like they're sitting in the right places. But I'm just wondering how important that is if they need to be swapped around or whatever. So there was a little coil pack in the middle. Um, yes. Uh, yes to what? Um, Alistair, that's, I can't remember, I've asked you that many questions. I can't remember what we're saying yes to. So yes, you can't flood. Is that right? If it's, um, if it's injection. Good. 
Wonderful. So there we go. And will it be a mono? Is it a J-tronic or a K-tronic? I'm just trying to think what you call it. It's got the wee, like the wee underground. The rail goes right round the top. Um, so wonderful. That. Yay, says Alistair. So you can't flood an injection. Well, that's reassuring. So I don't actually need to go taking all the plugs out and all that sort of carry on, Alistair. I need to check my fuel pressure and see if we get that sorted about. Swap them and see what happens, says Rab. Good for you, Rab. Are you a mechanic, Rab? Scotty, if Ali, if Canada, getting really cold out here now. Have a smashing weekend, says Alison McMillan in Canada. Isn't that wonderful, guys? People are watching in Canada right now and coming on and saying dinky do to Scotty McClue from Canada. We like that. Uh, check the firing order as well. It should be all right, Alistair. Um, you know, because uh, nothing's been moved as far as I know on the uh, on the distributor. It's got a distributor in it and it's got all your wires there and the um, the the um, Cables are labelled, which makes a wee bit sense, as you'll, as you'll know. You'll have gathered what we're talking about here, I would think. So she should be firing all right. Not one for bragging, says Rab Hill. So you're not a bragger, Rab. We knew that, but you're a mechanic. Are you a very good mechanic? I know Alistair's an absolute top motor engineer, and he can tell you what's wrong and all that sort of stuff. I have friends who are top motor engineers, and this guy got to hear of them and he brought a very, 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 very expensive motor car into them. And as they came in, um, he got out to go to them and said, hey, I've got a problem. And they went, yes, we know you've got a misfire. And he said, well, how do you know? You haven't even seen the car yet. He went, we heard you coming in. <laughs> it's not lovely. <laughs> so there you go. You've got a misfire. We heard you coming in. <laughs> It's wonderful. I like it. Angel Sturdles there. Thank you, Angel. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. I'm just about to push off because we've had quite a pop-up and a lot of fun. Uh, so uh, wonderful stuff. Guys, take great care of yourselves till we all meet again. As I say, do lots and lots of sharing. Let people know that we get together on Scotty McClure's pop-up. First Lord of the Internet, well stop broadcaster. I'm not one for bragging either, as you well know. And uh, we'll hopefully have a catch-up later. If you're watching from the Geltach, of course, then ich gewalich, I say. And take Great care of yourself, Mahas. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. There's Danny Lewis says, hello. Hello, Danny. Dinky Doo and welcome. Night, Scotty says, the wonderful Alistair King. Good night, Alistair. And thank you so much for all your help and advice. It's great stuff. You know, you never know. We might do a phone-in about that. I uh, can spell my canic, says Rab. Don't you worry about your spelling, Rab. There's a lot more to life than spelling. Uh, oh, sorry, spelling. Uh, good night, Sir William Barr. Good night. Night, night, says Darren McCann. Night, night, la, la. Uh, take great care of yourselves. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Thanks for cheering up Saturday, says the lovely Susan Forrest. Dinky do. Take care, mate, says Rab Hill. And Scott McClure says, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Join in. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A Vitorzin, au revoir, and a cheerio. That'd be good, Scotty. A mechanic phone in. We'll maybe get you on there. We'll just do it together, Alistair. Take care of yourselves, ta-da, lads. Dinky-doo.